पाटो एंड डॉक्टर मंजिरी वलसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल टेस्ट यू बेबी सेंटर नवीपेट पुणे टुडे लेट एस टेक द क्वेश्चन एयर सीरीज बाय माय पेशंट्स अहेड व्हाट इज द एक्जैक्ट ड्यू डेट ऑफ डिलिवरी इन अ टेस्ट यू बेबी प्रेग्नेंसी now this is the commonest question and quite a confusing one whenever a patient conceives naturally we always calculate the pregnancy duration from the last menstrual period and generally add 9 months and 7 days to the last menstrual period now because of advances in test tube baby technology we now electively follow the frozen blastocyst embryo transfer in which in the first month after the periods we give injections to the patient we take out the eggs from the womb from the mother and we fertilize them with the father's sperm make an embryo and freeze it exactly 6 to 8 weeks which is almost 2 months after making the embryo we transfer the embryo in the mother's womb now this date of embryo transfer after a fortnight that is 15 days from this date generally the pregnancy test comes positive in 50 to 60% of the women these women are generally confused how to now calculate the due date or the duration of the pregnancy the most simple answer here is sonography so in ivf one needs to remember that the dating scan or the 6 week sonography is very important because it is this sonography depending on the crown drum length of the baby the yolk sac diameter etc and various parameters will give us an estimated due date or an estimated delivery date which is generally very appropriate so your 6 weeks dating scan is very very important and generally it follows the due date around a week here and there should be fine so in test tube baby pregnancies never calculate depending on your last menstrual period it has to be always a dating scan which is done by a radiologist sonologist or your ivf consultant and they will be the ones to tell you what would be the exact or the rough date of delivery in your case being a ivf pregnancy thank you